Katie Play Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. So today we're going to get to the next part of the Chemiton. Things are happening in this game. Apparently, a Kemi can bring the dead back to life, which is very weird because I thought she was evil. So maybe she's not evil and people just think she's evil, but she's actually good and not evil and people think she's bad. Maybe. Let's begin. Okay, so we just got the rope off of this roof and our box is up here now. Maybe we have to bring it with us, because I didn't leave the box there, so let's bring it with us. Wait, I can't... Hmm. It won't let me click it anymore, so I guess it's just gonna stay there. That's strange. Alright, now that we have this rope, I think we can get over this stump thing that was over here. But hold on, let's check over here, because I didn't go this way yet. Oh no, I'm not going that way. What does it say? Uh-oh. I thought it was gonna say something! And I die again. They didn't warn me this time. I'm disintegrating, I'm dying, and disintegrating, and disappearing, and I got a green ponytail, and I just don't care, and I'm- Not going that way ever again in my life until I have to, which will probably be soon. All right, this way, I don't understand these doll things and why they're around. I don't understand a lot about this game or who the black haired lady is, but hopefully we find out soon. Okay, maybe I can use my rope on this or not. Oh, aha. There we go. Um, awesome. Okay. Oh, I thought we had to like jump over that, but it wasn't anything. This is Epico's cell phone. Why is her cell phone out here? Is Epico around as well? What is that? Oh no. N no! Is that bitch? Run! Okay. Alright. Let me run away now. Go! Was that necessary? Oh, I didn't even have to run. It's not going to help if I keep escaping. Before I get killed, I must do something. What did she do? Is she fighting her? Go hell! Go to hell! That's probably what she meant to say. Go to hell! Go to hell! Go to hell! Go hell! Yeah! Shimoko! Watch the game just end here, and I did this whole part for nothing, pretty much. I, I did it. So that's all we had to do this entire time was just beat her down to a pulp. I would have did that in the first place. Died already. And we just walk away. Bad asses with the green ponytail. <laughs> and they leave me here. Okay, let's save it. <gasps> oh my god. Go away, go away, go away. No! Uh, can't, can't. Breath, uh, help, p p So is the monster Ebiko? Maybe? 
I don't know. Who? Who? Ha! 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 Huh? Uh, can we? Why did you leave me? Uh, please don't leave me. I want to save you. Uh, can we? Why are you here? I'm here to release her from the curse. You want to disturb me? Ouch! No, no, don't! Leave her body, please! So Akemi's good? It was Ebiko! Huh? Ebiko? Ebiko! What happened? She was controlled by the evil, just like her mother. Epico, Epico! Mm. Huh? Epico! Shimoko? I. What happened to me? Uh, you turned evil and creepy and looked like you didn't brush your teeth forever? Epico, are you feeling better now? Uh. I remember. Monster. Monster. Epico! Oh, it's her mom. M mom Dad? You're still alive, thank God! M mom Is this the end of the game, really? That is not my dream. But why are there so many monsters? I also don't know. But glad that everyone is fine. Thank you, Akemi. And, I'm sorry, I suspected you. So please, never leave me again. It's for your own good, too. Why is she so clingy? We'd better go back to the village as soon as possible. Hey. Who is this? Yuta! Is everyone okay? Yes, I guess so. Glad to hear that. Yuta, do you know what on earth is going on in our village? Now everyone is talking about this too. We are all taking refuge in the lodging house. Your parents are there also. Really? Yes, they are so worried about you. We'd better go there as soon as possible. All villagers are there? No, quite a number of them were killed. A lot of weird things happened and there are still monsters around the village. Is the lodging house safe? It should be. Nothing has happened there so far. If that's the case, let's go there now. I can't go in any of these rooms. Oh, yes I can. Can we survive? Here is not completely safe as well. Be careful, please. I want to go to the toilet. But where is it? I don't know, I'm surrounded by irrelevant rooms, so who knows? Let's try downstairs. Where the bathroom at? Gotta pee, gotta pee. There we are. I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? Power cut? What can I do? I can't see anything. Lighter! Lighter! What? Who is that? <gasps> what was that? Power back. Good. What was that? What happened? The meeting is going to start soon. What happened? 
Can I leave? What? I'm back. Everything okay? Yep, nothing strange. Uh, yeah, something strange happened. Um, where is Akemi living? I never saw you before in the village. I am not living in this village. <sighs> really? Why did you come here? I mean, there's nothing much here. It's because I want to save you and the village from the curse. What do you mean by that? Is there any relation between Akemi and the village? I lived here in the past. I had a special power, which protected people from the evil spirit. So I used this power to protect this village. But I was then chased out by villagers, since they wanted to take control of the village. I never heard of that before. But you look like the same age as us. Why do we remember nothing about you? But I know everything about you. Although you've forgotten me. What do you mean? Huh? You to here. Can you all come with me? We are going to have a meeting with the villagers here. Though, I still have something to tell you. Let's go to the meeting first. This is getting crazy. I don't know what's happening. Let's start discussion about what we should do next. As you know, this village is in disaster now. The whole village is surrounded by the darkness, and it is impossible to get out. It seems that this village has been isolated from the rest of the world. If the current situation continues, this village will be destroyed. As for the cause of the current situation, it must be because of the O's rage. There must be someone who irritated the O. That someone must have eaten the offering. In order to abate his rage, we have to catch the culprit and offer him or her to the O as the sacrifice. Other than that, we can't be rescued. But that means we have to kill someone. So, do you have any other better suggestion? If this situation continues, everyone will die. Isn't it better to kill one but save the rest? This guy is horrible. Ain't I right? Uh, it's only the problem of this time for the monster to find this place. We can't afford more time to think about another method. So let's share what we know and find the culprit now. Emiko? Are you okay? You look terrible. <gasps> Emiko! What's going on? Emiko's having a rest now. Why did- why did her faint suddenly? After going through all those things, she must be exhausted. That's why. Is that the only reason? Eh? She was so fine just now. I have no idea what is happening. Don't worry, you'll be fine soon. You are tired too, aren't you? You better have a rest as well. I'm not liking Akemi. I don't know how I feel about her. I really don't think she's a good character. Um... Can I leave now? No. So what am I doing now? Hmm. Huh? This? What's this? What's what? Oh, the hallway doesn't end. That's strange. What do I do? Just go back? Everything looks identical, no matter where I go. Why? <laughs> what? Who? Who? Who is there? I'm not liking this. You are... You are still alive? It's that corpse from the house. Why are you with that woman? Huh? I mean, Akemi. I told you. That woman is evil. She is your enemy. No. 
You're wrong. Akemi is not the evil. Akemi saved me. Though I escaped from her, she was still willing to look for me and help me. Akemi's not a monster. You are. Why did you say that? I will kill you, you know. What are you doing? Ah! Run! Ah! Akemi is the enemy. If you choose her side, my cuties will eat you. You will be killed. What can you do, dear? Give in, now. You, you dare. I won't die. Akemi will save me for sure. Kill that woman. Ah! Help, Akemi! Run! Um... Yeah, my red-headed bitch. Akemi! I won't allow you to do harm to her. Please, disappear. <laughs> Please, disappear. Finally, it's over. Let's go back. Abiko must have revived. Uh, really? Oh, okay, let's go back now. You crazy lady. Abiko, do you feel better now? Um, I'm fine. Anything wrong just now? Huh? What happened to you during the meeting? Abiko, what are you hiding? Nothing. It's okay, Ebiko. I know all. But it's okay, don't worry. We are on your side. So, you can tell us everything. I... I'm sorry. It's me. I... ate the offering. But I never knew it would be so serious. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But I ate the offering. They'll never notice if I eat only one, right? No, I shouldn't do this. I'd better leave it there. So she never even ate it. Wow, this whole time I thought she was the stupid idiot who did it. Stupid Abaco. So I ate it. But I never knew this kind of thing would happen. It's all my fault because of me. Everyone is in danger. I put Shimoko and everyone in danger. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Abaco. You gon' die! But I... I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to be killed! Ebiko, I'm not going to tell anyone about this. I don't want Ebiko to be killed as well. I'm not angry, it's okay, so don't blame yourself anymore, okay? Shimoko... Akemi will also keep the secret, right? I don't know. Didn't I say before you have no enemy here? Don't worry, she doesn't have to sa sacrifice herself. Eh? No matter what, I will save you. That is my only purpose for being here. Save us? Is there any way to save us? Yes, and this village will be back to normal tonight. What do you mean by that? I will die tonight. Eh? Akemi, you? Are you planning to be the sacrifice in exchange for my life? You can't do that. I've decided on this ever since the beginning. I don't like that. I don't want Akemi to die. We survived all those dangers and finally became friends. Don't worry, even though I die. We will meet again soon. Why are you willing to sacrifice so much? Villagers here mean a lot to me. We really had a good time living together in the past. 
But that woman destroyed everything. That woman? Do you mean the one with the white hair? Yes. She was the maid of my family. I gave a portion of my power to her, but she used that power and took control of the village. She deceived villagers into believing that I was the evil that enchased me out of the village. She then made everyone forget me. I am no longer remembered by anyone in this village. But even until now, I still love this village. I would sacrifice myself for the village. Akemi, don't, please. I am the one who should be punished. I don't want you to die for me. This is the thing I must do. Thank you for treating me as your important friend. You two are my best friends. We are good friends in the past too, though you have forgotten everything. To believe or not to believe her? I don't know. Come in, please. Any clue about the culprit? Not yet. It's quite hard. I have a good idea. Please. Do you know we saved a girl called Dikemi? I guess. No. Guess not. I don't know. The red hair girl. Together with Shimoda Shimoko? Oh, okay. I know her. I did some research, and I found that she's not from our village. Really? Yes. So why not make use of her? If we chose the sacrifice from our own villagers, his relatives would leak out this information, and people elsewhere would know we killed someone. But Akemi has no relatives in our village. This sounds good. But we need a reason to put her as the sacrifice. We are looking for the culprit who ate the offering, right? We can always have as many evidences as, as we want. Furthermore, I'm pretty sure that the others also want the village to be back to normal as soon as possible. Do you think they really care who is the real culprit? You are right. Have you all heard that? Move now. She gon' die. But she's already dead. Akemi? Akemi, are you crying? I just can't control the tears. Could you two come closer to me for a short while? Of course, we're here. to go. Eh? This is really strange. Wh what? I know who the culprit is. Huh? Akemi, it's you. A lot of villagers said that they saw you eating the offering. That's horrible. That's impossible! Akemi did nothing! We have confirmed about that, so we'll offer Akemi to the O. No, no, please don't do that! Please don't! Akemi will not do that! Quiet! Do whatever you want. I have nothing to say. Akemi! Please don't disturb me. I expected this to happen. That's why I came here. Akemi. I'm not going anywhere. Do whatever you want. Arrest her! That brave bitch. Akemi! Do we really have to leave this village? Yes, we can't do anything about it. This is the village's decision. But this village is deceived by that woman. If we left, that woman would do whatever she wants to this village. Let's build a house here then. A portion of our power can then remain here. We name this power as the O, and villagers are required to bring offerings here every day. In exchange, we protect the village from our evil spirit. This is the only thing we can do. However, if the rules should be broken, there will be nothing protecting this village, and villagers will all become her slaves. Akemi is the O? And her father? Dad. The rule has been broken. I have to go.
Whoa. Now, this lady is sacrificing herself to abate our god's rage. Feel the O's rage. Was that David? I just saw David. I swear to god I saw David. Do it now! Akemi! Please, stop, please! This is the chief's decision. Just give up on her. Akemi did nothing, nothing! Watch your mouth. Akemi! Akemi, no! I don't want you to die! It is David! What is he doing here?! Will I ever play a game where David's not there? Dad. Mom. She still has breath. Give her the last strike! Why is David a part of this? Ooh. Lonely. I'm always so lonely. She did. Wait a second, these are all Crooked Man characters. There's the guy in the jumpsuit down there, and there's the guy that looks like Guy Fieri! What? Monster dis monsters disappeared. It seems that we can get out of the village too. Woohoo! We are saved! We survived! Akemi. Sorry. For us. You. It's over? That's literally how it ends? What? Okay, so that was a crazy ending to the game. Apparently Akemi was the O. I don't even know if I got the good ending, because... It seems like Akemi died, and that other woman ended up taking over, and like the town ended up. I don't. I don't know. <sighs> Gosh. Well, that was a very interesting game. Thank you so much for watching. I had fun with this one, even though it was pretty short. I don't know why Crooked Man and Sandman characters were in the game, but that I'll never know. Anyway. I can't wait to start a new one. I don't know what game I'm gonna play next, but I'm really glad uh, from all the feedback that I got on this game and I'm just excited to keep on going. So thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>